Did you see her reaction? Some y'all show masterly. And Lulu. All right, we are on a roll here reacting to the speeches given at the Oscars this year because, well, one is we want to support everything yes. and everywhere all at once because of its massive win, but also... And we want to celebrate! We just want to celebrate. It's pretty freaking amazing. You think about it, as an Asian geek nerd, <laughs> geek nerd... For a movie like this, who I feel like represents me and everything I stand for, is like, oh, I should be up there getting this award, too. Yes. Seriously, a multiverse about hot dog fingers with Asians in it. I mean, I never thought. Actually, I can't even say I thought it would happen in my lifetime. It's almost like there's no way someone to ever green light a freaking movie like this. But here we are. So, yeah, we're going to react to uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and the Daniels, uh, their speech. And I want to do this because it's finally my chance to share a Jamie Lee Curtis story. Because I actually got a chance to meet her before. You did? Yeah. Not just meet her. Like, actually had, you know, like a half an hour conversation, just chilling, eating, I believe, finger hot dogs. <laughs> no way. I'm not lying. You're making it I up. I know, baby. So, I'm trying to remember. So, there's a video game concert. Uh, it's one of the most famous ones out there from Tommy Tallarico. It used to happen like every year at E3. So I was at the event, right? I was watching the show. Is she a gamer? Like, I didn't believe because my memory, I was like, maybe it was for another event I was at in LA, another concert. Right. So I Googled up and sure enough, she apparently is a huge gamer. gamer? So I'm like, yes, my memory <gasps> serves me right. Wow. She was at this concert, right? Yeah. Uh, it was halftime intermission. We went to this private area. Right, to, that's a little bit more for those who are inside the industry and, mm -hmm. and whatnot, it's celebrities. With snacks With and all. snacks, right, and drinks. I was up there getting a drink and a snack. She was out there getting a drink, snack, and and I walked over to look out the window because this was the year, I believe, that the L.A. riots were happening at the same time. Oh. So we were both sitting in front of this giant windows because the giant planes all around. You could look out. They can't see in. I'm like, oh, hey. You're Jamie Lee Curtis. She's like, yeah, yes, I am. How you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm John. <laughs> She's like, oh, the John who, you know, worked on Super Mario Party, uh, it, it worked at Konami. And I'm like, that's the one. <laughs> she, she didn't say that. But yeah, we were just hanging out there, enjoying our conversation. It was kind of like on edge because we were thinking, should we stick around or, or leave? Because... We were watching the TV, and they were talking about the L.A. riots that were going on. And the riots were happening because the Lakers had just won. Like, everything was going on this night. The Lakers had just won. So people were coming out, and they were celebrating, and they were flipping cars, fire in the streets, and police, you know, chasing people down. And we're looking right outside. I'm like, oh, my God, this is happening <laughs> right outside in front of us. Oh, should we be concerned? This is, this is dangerous. And we both decided, no, we should stick around. This concert's really good. <laughs> so we stuck around we said goodbye and that was when i got to meet jamie lee curtis wow. yeah down to earth truly Very down to earth yeah Aww. it's really it, this was at a time where like i don't think she was actually in a lot of movies she kind of took time away to be with her family it was a little bit away from hollywood she, she's come back in force is now her parents also celebrities like actors yeah her parents are super gotcha. famous celebrities yeah so she kind of went down that track, which I think this is one reason why like her winning is such a big thing, mm -hmm. you know, because people talk about nepotism for her. Like she got her break in Hollywood. One, it's, she's very beautiful. When she was younger, right. she, oh my God, one of the most beautiful actresses. So I can see how she was able to get into Hollywood with her, I mean, superstar looks. And maybe her parents had some help and we shouldn't discount that. But I don't think she was ever considered what I would call a, force that could have ever won the oscars right the mm -hmm. fact that she's even nominated and that she won to me is like holy freaking moly right because mm -hmm. she got known for you know true lies being the you know the hottie in the movie and then she ah. got into horror right and the victim in that but none of those kind of movies would ever be nominated for anything here maybe for special effects but in this movie she was really good <laughs> like you wouldn't even know it's her. Like she played it I, so. I know. At first, it's like, well. wait, who's that? So yeah, it's it's amazing. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna react wonderful. to her and uh, the Daniels here uh, giving their speech. And uh, yeah, I mean, great story. All of them. Wow. Yeah, just that's an what? honor to 
you know, be able to meet her. It's funny how these things happen because at that time, it's just, but it's, I never get enamored with celebrities. So I met a lot of celebrities over my years working in the video game industry and entertainment industry. I should probably, and you know what, this is really good that we're doing these reactions. So we got this documented because I, half the time I don't remember these things. So unless something triggers, I'm like, oh yeah, I did actually meet this person. We had this kind of thing, like, you know, like, Paul McCartney or, you know, a lot of WWE wrestlers like The Undertaker. I got stories and I just don't remember them until someone jogs my memory. All right, let's check this out, y'all. <laughs> By the way, if you want to hear some more wild stories of stuff here in Vegas, well, you got to check out my Vegas show. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show on my OnlyFans. Ooh, even more wild. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and away we go. And the Oscar goes to... Jamie Lee Curtis! Did you see her? She looks shocked. Did you see her reaction? Jamie Lee Curtis. She did not think she would win. In the horror classic Halloween. 45 years later, she was an executive producer on the final installment, Halloween Ends. Wow. That long through the series. Wow. She was nominated too. Stop. I have 45 seconds and I promised Janet Yang I wouldn't do it well because I'm a good girl. I know it looks like I'm standing up here by myself, but I am not. I am hundreds of people. I'm hundreds of people. I am the, where are the Daniels? Daniels, Jonathan, Leyline, the entire crew, my bae Michelle, Key, Steph, the entire art group of artists who made this movie. We just won an Oscar. Um, to my dream team, um, my agent Rick Kurtzman, Alan Wertheimer, Heidi Schaefer, Sean James, Grace Ahn, Jane Ross, we just won an Oscar. To my family, my beautiful husband, Christopher Guest. Our daughters, Annie and Ruby. My sister Kelly, we just won an Oscar. To all of the people who have supported the genre movies that I have made for all these years, the thousands and hundreds <laughs> of thousands of people, we just won an Oscar together. And my mother and my father were both nominated for Oscars in different categories. I just won an Oscar. Their parents win? I don't know. Oh, the father I can recognize like that. So glad she won. So deserving. Unfortunately, Hollywood does this all the time, right? They pigeonhole you. So mm -hmm. even if you got amazing talent, for someone like her, she was pigeonholed into these roles and that's somebody you couldn't take serious. And the fact that she could break out of that and get that recognition just validates that you got to give everyone a chance, especially in Hollywood. And I think that's what makes you the best actor, though, is to be able to play a different role. Me, personally, if I'm an actor, like, I don't want to stick to just one, right? It's a dream for an actor to be able to play different characters. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. So happy that she won. Uh, so, Jamie Lee Curtis, um, if you still have my number, your phone, you know, just know that, uh, hey, I might text you and I'm like, just congratulate <laughs> you. Heck? No, she doesn't have. 